On Sunday, Kate was joined on the balcony of the Foreign Office by Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall and Sophie Wessex, after the Queen pulled out from attending due to a sprained back. Kate appeared solemn for the occasion and donned a black hat and an Alexander McQueen coat along with a poppy, and many praised her for her appearance at the event. Praise was heaped on the Duchess of Cambridge for her appearance at Sunday's solemn occasion, including by Darren Grimes, a contributor for both Reason UK and GB News who remarked, Kate is incredible, while Royal Watcher at Hepperid underscore labelled the Duchess of Cambridge as the People's Princess, and compared her to Meghan. The user wrote, Remembrance Sunday, Kate Middleton is the People's Princess that Meghan Markle could have been but she chose her Hollywood status over being a royal and you cannot have both. It comes after Meghan Markle, 40, appeared at the Salute to Freedom Gala on the eve of Armistice Day this week, where she was praised for taking royal style up a notch. For the event hosted at the Intrepid Museum, the Duchess of Sussex donned a custom Carolina Herrera red dress with a plunging neckline and fitted bodice which was praised by fashion magazine Vogue, who referred to the piece as daring by royal standard, s, and also, sultry. Janelle Okwodu, writing for Vogue added, beaming as they, Meghan and Prince Harry, walked the carpet hand in hand, the couple gave the event a jolt of star power and a fresh take on royal style. 734 Royal fans send birthday wishes to Prince Charles on 73rd birthday Prince Charles has received birthday wishes from Royal fans after Clarence House shared a celebratory birthday snap on social media. The future king turned 73 yesterday, and Royal fans left hundreds of comments on the Prince's post on Instagram. The post, uploaded on the Clarence House Instagram account, received over 83,000 likes and 2,600 replies. Well wishes included Sue Sturrock who wrote, Many happy returns your royal highness. I'll raise a glass to you this evening. The Duke of Cornwall spent the morning of his birthday at the Cenotaph to commemorate fallen soldiers at this year's Remembrance Sunday.